Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. In 2019, the North Central Jets were the only eight player team to go undefeated in the regular season. They've established a high powered big play brand of football over the years, and they're ready to run the score up once again in 2020. The North Central Jets are ready for takeoff in 2020. We've got high standards. You know, we, we have high expectations all the time. You know, we're going to face whoever they put on the field against us, and we're just going to go play our brand of football. The Jets are looking to bounce back from a disappointing loss in their regional finals game against Pickford. The determined Panthers beat the Jets 22-14 to and would go on to win a state championship. They came in here, they did establish what they wanted to do, and they took it, they took it to us. But what that taught us is, you know, we play high-flying football. We still have to learn and get back to smash mouth. And that does bode well for us this year because now we have a solid core returning seniors and uh, they're, they're hungry. Uh, we took that as a very tough loss. You know, we were the smaller team, so a lot of us have been in the weight room more, getting bigger and stronger. The Jets lose big contributors in Leo and Noah Gorzinski and Cole Timland, but they welcome back a slew of athletes ready to fill in. You know, I've got both the Chartier boys coming back. It's like Carter Eichmeyer, he's in there. I've got Wyatt Riley, Ian Gorzinski, Luke Kleiman, Gavin Caston. We're blessed with speed here, you know, so it, it helps. We've got a couple, we've got a, uh, Teats Twins that are going to be back here this year. There were JVs last year, people didn't get a look at them. Alex Nazer, he got some looks on us at varsity. Another really fast kid, and then, uh, yeah, Luke's going to be running the show for us. Last season, Luke Gorzinski burst onto the scene as a freshman, showing a rare mix of poise, confidence, and playmaking ability. He's ready to take a big leap in year two. He's uh, very knowledgeable about football, one of the smartest guys on the team, you know, so he knows the ins and outs of the game, and he's just so explosive, you know, super fast, smart, strong, he's got everything. Um, I feel I'm supposed to lead this team. I have to be a leader on this team. I have to help this team succeed. I, I'm trying to be the focal point on this team, especially communicating with everyone, getting everything thrown through everything, trying to lead the offense every day at practice. The Jets are excited to get their season underway after almost losing the chance to strap on the pads this fall altogether. Uh, it was amazing. You know, I thought we were going to have to maybe play in the spring or not play in like really terrible conditions, but just getting back out in the football field feels great. Oh, so grateful. And then, yeah, I know I'm a sophomore in many years, but. I know how much this means to the seniors, and I mean, they know how much it means even to me. Um, it's extremely grateful, though, for sure. Expect the Jets to add to an already rich tradition in powers. You no, know, we've got a pretty solid, established football program going here. I mean, before I came here, you know, you talked about the Jason White era, those those guys, Bobby, those guys, and we've been able to follow through with that. So we we've got high standards. You know, we we have high expectations all the time. You know, we're going to face whoever they put on the field against us, and we're just going to go play our brand of football. North Central opens up their season Friday, September 18th against Ontonagon. James, back to you.